of the working age population of emerging and developing countries uh, are living and working, working pretty hard uh, and not escaping from poverty. So uh, decent work really is about, not just about the quantity of jobs, but it's also about the quality of jobs. It's about being able to enjoy your rights, uh, enjoy your, your core labor standards of uh, freedom association, freedom from child labor, freedom from forced labor, and freedom from discrimination. Uh, it's important also that we have dialogue between trade unions and employers, because that's the best way to find your way forward on generating jobs and making sure that we have the social protection systems that underpin you if you can't, if you can't work. The International Labour Organization is the United Nations Agency for the World of Work. It sets international labour standards, promotes rights at work and encourages decent employment opportunities. The enhancement of social protection and the strengthening of dialogue on work-related issues. The International Labour Organization has a unique structure, bringing together governments, employers and workers' representatives. Nineteen nineteen, The ILO is founded as part of the Treaty of Versailles that ended the First World War to reflect the belief that universal and lasting peace cannot be achieved without social justice. 1944. The Declaration of Philadelphia states that labor is not a commodity and established basic human and economic rights for states to uphold. 1946. The ILO becomes the first specialized agency of the United Nations. 1969. The organization is awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize. 1998. The Declaration of Fundamental Principles and Rights at Work creates a set of core labor standards. 2015. Agenda of 2030 for Sustainable development places decent work for all at the heart of policies for sustainable and inclusive growth and development. The structure of the International Labor Organization is International Labor Conference, Governing Body, International Labor Office, International Labor Conference, each member state is represented by a delegation consisting of two government delegates, an employer delegate, a worker delegate, and their respective advisors. Each delegate have the same rights and the same vote. Governing body is composed of 56 titular members and 66 deputy members. Ten of the titular government seats are permanently held by states of chief industrial importance. International Labor Office is led by the Director General Guy Ryder, who has been re-elected by the governing body of the ILO for another five-year term that will start officially on October 1, 2017. The decision-making process of the International Labour Organization has four steps. The development of international labour standards at the ILO begins when the governing body agrees to put an issue on the agenda of a future international labour conference. Then, the International Labour Office prepares a report that analyzes the laws and practices of member states with regard to the issue at stake. The report is circulated to member states and to workers and employers' organizations for comments and is discussed at the International Labor Conference. Finally, a second report is then prepared by the office with a draft instrument for comment and submitted for discussion at the following conference where the draft is amended as necessary and proposed for adoption. The ILO has partnerships with public and private institutions. Some of them are made with companies like IKEA, Gap, Adidas, Nike, and Nestle. 56.4% of the partnerships are made with private companies, 16.8% with foundations, 13.2% with public institutions, 
9.2% with other non-state actors and 4.4% with social partners. The main achievement of the ILO are the labor standards. International labor standards have grown into a comprehensive system of instruments of work and social policy, backed by a supervisory system designed to address all kinds of problems in their application at the national level. The biggest failure is that they have failed to end slavery. Also, the organization united efforts to fight against injustice in labor. In 2016, according to the ILO, there were 40 million victims of modern slavery. The ILO also released a separate report showing that 152 million children were victims of child labor, which amounted to nearly one in every 10 children worldwide. Colombia is a member of the International Labor Organization since 1919. The country has ratified 61 conventions. At the end of 1954, it was decided to establish a center of action in Lima, Peru. Later on, the action center is elevated to the rank of Regional Office for Latin America and the Caribbean. There are polarized opinions about the International Labor Organization. One of them perceives the ILO to be a weak and ineffectual institution. They only promote the standards, but they can assure that these standards will be applied. On the other hand, some people think that the International Labor Organization is an important factor to create and maintain peace. Thanks to this organization, millions of workers have improved their lives in some aspects such as social, family, safety and economic. Also, it has enhanced the equal treatment.